Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new GV X.01 Tour modular helmet, available at Revzilla.com. So we finally have our hands on the DOT-rated homologated version of the X.01 Tour. If you would have seen, we've done a previous video, which was the early ECE rated version of this helmet, and now we know exactly what is hitting the US market. If we take a look at it, the aesthetic is not going to change, but there are a few changes as we dive into it. And remember, it's DOT and ECE rated as an open face helmet because this chin bar, which is completely removable, really, you know, they're calling it weather protection. It completes the look, but the way the hinge system is done, it wouldn't pass the full face DOT test. And that's not that big of a deal. We see that with a lot of helmets. You just have to keep in mind when you're buying it, it is a different level of protection than a true full face homologated helmet. Now, quick note on Fitment. This is the first thing I'm gonna call out immediately. This is an extremely round helmet. When I say round, I mean round, like spherical round. Most people are a head shape like mine, which is what I would consider an intermediate oval. This is gonna fit you best if you're a round head shape, so keep that in mind. And that is what we saw on the, prev the previous version that we had our hands on, which was that ECE. You know, if you're concerned about that fitment, you can always buy it and we're gonna ship it for free. There's no restock, you need to send it back to it, but it is something to take into consideration. The other thing I wanna keep, wanna call out are a few of the changes that didn't make it into this final DOT US rated version. The first key change is the biggest change in my opinion, and that's that these vents are aesthetic only. There's no cutouts in the EPS. So a lot of times we'll see those big cutouts in the actual interior liner of the helmet, that EPS shell. The vents are non-functional, they're completely closed, they actually don't even slide open or closed. So keep that in mind guys, there's no top ventilation on this helmet. You get great chin ventilation, we went out and rode in it, we actually liked the chin ventilation, it was great, it even, and you have the ability to take that off, but you're not gonna get that top ventilation. The other thing I wanna call out, is that there's no pin lock ready system. So on the ECE version, we did see that it was pin lock ready out of the box. You could add that lens to it. Now it's just a straight shield and there's still not gonna be any detents on this shield. The other thing and the last thing I wanna call out is a big change when you move from the ECE European version into this DOT version, the, the weight went up substantially. So you're looking at a poly shell, it's a polycarb shell, but your weight's close to four pounds. Four pounds is heavy for a motorcycle helmet. You guys know your tolerance is out there. But again, between that three and $400 range, it's gonna be one of the heavier helmets on the market. So keep that in mind, guys. Things I do like about it, flow a ton of air from the chin vent. It looks great. The matte finish is awesome. There's a matte finish to it. There's also that matte white. And what I'd love to hear you do is click here, subscribe to us on Revzilla TV. I'd love to hear your comments, your gut reactions. If you're out there wearing it, what you found with it. But again, the styling in true GV fashion from an Italian manufacturer actually comes together quite nicely. And you see these vents here on the front are functional. And as you rotate around to the back, you're gonna see nice clean lines going back. The other thing that works really well is that the drop down sun visor that's built in, it's operated with this slider right here on the side. It actually is reasonably easy to find, works quite well, and it comes down low enough so it completely covers your field of view. So that, in my opinion, is a nice big plus. But again, it has adding weight to the helmet and it's already a bit of a heavier helmet. As I rotate it around the back, you're gonna see how things sweep together along the sides. And the interior, as I begin to pull that apart, you're gonna see is a nice premium finish you know, along those lines. But before I do that, what I wanna do is I wanna pop out the chin bar, it's got a snap on both sides. And what you're going to see is, here's my fully removable chin bar. Notice, again, it's meant to be rated as an open face helmet. That's how it passes that DOT rating. But here's your chin bar. Again, it has a nice Hawksbill style to it. it, has a nice full gasket that creates a good seal against the bottom. And here's my chin bar without it. In open face mode, it actually is a great looking helmet. Again, with that nice big peak. Kind of reminds me of the Arai, the XC Ram, or some of those other helmets that are peaked but open face as well. Now, if I turn it on its side, and I begin to discover the guts here, nice premium liner. Has that wicking material to it, it's gonna be antimicrobial, will do a great job at keeping you cool, keeping you dry. We did find that this helmet was less friendly to folks wearing eyeglasses, so if you're an eyeglass wearer or like sunglasses underneath, especially with this round shape, it's not gonna be your best option. It does use the micrometric, the micrometric ratcheting system, which is a nice plus. And there's also no pockets for there are gonna be no pockets for speaker cutouts. You're not gonna be able to add a comm system to this helmet either. Moving to the inside, notice that it is wicking throughout, but remember, there's panels that are mesh. You know, in the ECE version, you're going to have, you're going to have the big vents coming through the EPS. In the US version, you don't have any of those vents, and I'm about to show you that in a second here. So my comfort liner comes out, 
but notice it's a flat white interior shell. No grooves, no ridges, no holes for the venting to come through. Remember, it does not exist in this helmet. So I'd have to say that if I was going to wager on this helmet, I think it has a great, great style to it. I think some of the basic features as well as some of the nuances like the style, drop down sun visor are really nice touches. I do think in that three to $400 mark though, for its lack of venting and its weight, it's going to be a bit of a tougher sell, especially for the adventure market here in the US. Love to hear if you agree with me or if you disagree with me. Again, leave me your comments. Remember, the next step in your journey is to read other rider reviews. Folks, that this has been the right helmet and they've purchased it, see what they're saying at RevZilla.com. Click here to learn more. As always, we're going to ship for free. And if you like, you can give us a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Talk to a gear geek if you want to understand more about the GVX.01 Tour Modular Helmet. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.